Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. Today we're talking about the Joker, the movie the Joker, the trickster archetype, the character the Joker, what personality type was the Joker, what kind of conditions made a person so unhealthy, what kind of personality type would respond or become like the Joker when pushed far below the edge, you know, really far into really deeply unhealthy behavior. I had you guys vote on four options because YouTube only allows me to pick four and 707 of you guys came to the vote, 707 guys of you and guess how many of you thought he was an INFP, 28% of you guys think INFPs pushed below the edge could take on the extreme properties, the extremely unhealthy behavior of the Joker. People who watch this movie should know that the, the lead actor, the person behind this role, Joaquin Phoenix, is uh, most likely an INTJ or an INFP. According to most popular culture, that's where he is residing. Perhaps this influences how the Joker comes off, but it doesn't necessarily have to say anything about the character itself. Who is the character behind the mask, behind the actor himself? What kind of an archetype are we talking about here? 28% thought if he was the introverted, intuitive, feeling, perceiving type, the idealist who lives by himself, his own moral compass, his own words, his own feelings, his own authentic self. 28% of you thought when an INFP is pushed below the edge into really unhealthy behavior, they will lash out against society through these kind of random acts of violence, standing up against bullies, standing up against people who pick on you, standing up against uh, the world or the system or the society that brought you up through these kinds of uh, crazy acts of violence. 27% of you, just 1% less, thought instead that he was an ENTP, a completely different personality type, the extroverted, intuitive, thinking, perceiving type, the person who plays against the rules, the person who questions the norms of society, the person who challenges the boundaries of right and wrong, the person who asks questions, the person who becomes the rebel, the person who goes against the flow. 27% of you thought he was just an ENTP. The other two options were INFJ and INTP, also coming out reasonably even. 17%, so 10% less of you guys, thought he was an INFJ, and 14% thought he was an INTP. The INFJ, the introverted, intuitive, feeling, judging type, the person who is trying to enforce or put to, into place a kind of utopia or ideal into the world, the person who is trying to put together a vision for society, the person who is trying to advance or communicate or discuss a harmonious or future utopia where we can all live happily together. Yeah, 17% of you thought he was an INFJ. 14% of you thought INTP, and INTPs, they're really interesting. INTPs, that's introverted, intuitive, thinking, perceiving. That's a person who is struggling to fit in in the social landscape around them. A person struggling with relationships, with people, with uh, fitting in, with talking to, connecting with other people. A person who has a strong sense or a strong desire for truth, for knowing, understanding how things really work. A person who is trying to understand the world around them, but struggles with making sense of what's happening around them. 14% of you thought a really unhealthy person could become like the Joker. A really unhealthy INTP pushed behind the limits, could lash out against the tribe, against the people around them in the sense the Joker did. Now, if I could have added an option, it would probably have been ENFP. A lot of people commented ENFP would be a good option, a good fit for the Joker. In fact, any intuitive perceiving type might relate to parts of his personality. Anyone can see themselves in his rebelliousness, in his going against the flow, in his tendency to dance around the edges of what's right and wrong. The ENFP personality type is often characterized as an entertainer, somebody who is just trying to make people smile, someone who is trying to make the world laugh, and 
The Joker says that's what he's trying to do. However, the interesting thing is he doesn't exactly say that's what he wants to do. He says, my mom said I was supposed to bring joy and laughter to the world. My mom said this was my purpose. That means ex he has an externalized sense of purpose. He is doing it not for himself because he wants to, but because his mom told him his purpose was to do it. He is trying to be funny, he's trying to make people laugh because that's what his mom told him to do. What I've seen when I studied flow and the different personality types was uh, our flow functions, who we are at our best, are represented by intrinsic mo motivations rather than externalized. We feel a need to make the world laugh and smile, sometimes even though we feel externalized that the world doesn't want this from us, the world doesn't like this about us, the world rejects this in us. Often our intrinsic and hardwired motivations are at opposition against our feelings of inferiority against what we feel we are not allowed to do, what the world has told us we are not allowed to do. If the Joker's extroverted feeling, desire to make people happy, desiring to connect with people is externalized rather than intrinsic, that suggests he can't be an extroverted feeling type. Instead, there's another theme in this movie that I think is really interesting. The Joker as the truth seeker. The Joker as the person who has been lied to, the person who has been told wrongs, the person who has been convinced of falsehoods, the person who is simply going out to try to find truth, the person who uh, is trying to investigate uh, his mom, his parents, his dad, his missing dad, who he is, who he was, where he came from. The person who comes to realize his truth is very different from what he has been told. Isn't the search for truth something very, very INTP? There are some other interesting patterns that uh, people might consider. Like a strong reason, I think, why people thought he was an INFP was because of his... Uh, avoidance of reality, his desire not to acknowledge the world around him, the world, his desire not to live in reality, his tendency to escape into fantasy relationships, fantasy experiences with uh, fantasy girlfriends, with people who don't exist, with people who he has met casually, briefly, spoken to once or twice, but has never had the chance to really connect. This uh, character, this Joker, is a person who struggles to tell the difference between what's real and what is not. The person who cannot handle bad experiences, the person who chooses to laugh when they are sad or upset, the person who, and of course that's because of in part a neurological disorder, struggles to admit to his own situation, his own depression, his own unhappiness, his own struggles. But isn't something wrong here? Wouldn't an INFP find it fairly easy to admit to their own struggles and their own issues? Aren't INFPs fairly good at talking about and expressing their own pain or struggles through art or some creative form of expression? Aren't INFPs people that, because they are feeling types, find it easy to at least for themselves admit to their own feelings, their own struggles, their own problems. A lot of you guys thought ENTP and perhaps I would agree if he demonstrated a healthy, natural tendency to challenge the norms, a natural tendency to go against the flow, a natural tendency to inspire humor and finding the fun in different situations. A lot of the time, his behavior seems to rather be brought on by stress and anxiety, not flow, not joy, not the desire, not the genuine motivation to learn, not the genuine motivation to try new things, to push the limits, to challenge himself, to overcome obstacles, to try out new things, to have new opportunities. No. This person seems more introverted intuitive. He seems like a person who thinks about, should I go into this opportunity? Should I go on this show? Should I try this? A person sure, aware of and dancing between options constantly in every situation, but also more importantly, thinking about these options, thinking about going out and making friendships or relationships, thinking about becoming a stand-up comedian, thinking about going on big shows, 
but struggling to do it, struggling to follow through on it, struggling to really put themselves out there. Would an ENTP really have these problems? It is because of this I argue that you guys were wrong. The Joker is an INTP and I expect the remaining 76% uh, of you guys, sorry 86% of you guys to come on and comment and tell me how wrong I am in a few minutes. I think the Joker is an INTP because he struggles with social alienation, making friends, making basic connections, fitting in with the tribe. I believe the Joker is an INTP because he lives inside his own head, searching for truth, searching for answers about who he is and where he comes from and who his family was, trying to figure out what is humor. What is the point of humor? He says something's really revealing, you know. Humor is up to what you guys decide is funny. That's something he says. He rec recognizes the futility of the field he is trying to become successful in. He understands the world theoretically. He takes and tries to form an opinion about what he thinks the world should be and how the world should work. He tries to formulate what humor is. He tries to understand the nature of humor and what is funny. He studies comedians. Why do they make the jokes they do and why do people laugh at them? What makes humor funny? His intentions of understanding it theoretically rather than by simply expressing or making it or talking about it in a natural sense of way is really, really interesting and really, really connected to being an introverted thinking type. I think he started really dancing, really feeling liberated because he gave up on his externalized sense of purpose and motivation. To some extent, he decided, I don't need to be funny anymore. I don't need to make people laugh. These people don't deserve my humor. They don't deserve my laughter. They don't deserve my smile. I don't want to live this way anymore. And so he began to really gravitate towards finding his own sense of purpose and his own truth. Still, despite this liberation, he was not able to find happiness, a long-lasting, healthy form of happiness. Still, society went against him. Still, he was not able to have his success as a stand-up comedian. Still, he was not able to uh, have the relationship he expected with his dad. He was not able to connect with the person he had found. He was not able to... Uh, find the person he had idealized in his head, the person he met, the real um, Wayne was not his actual dad, was not the person he wanted to, his mom was not who he thought she was. Instead he found out that she had committed some terrible acts. His whole life came up on end and the violence he ex were, was witnessing, the bullying he was put through, the difficulties, the people who came to his apartment to push him, uh, everyone went against him. As soon as he gave up on his externalized desire to please other people, the whole world came against him and uh, pushed him into a corner. And that's when he, I think, really snapped, when he lost his mental health support. There is one line which is like, uh, what happens when you take away mental health support for a person who is struggling with mental illness uh, and you get what you deserve? There was a point where he didn't feel free. He didn't feel like he could go his own way, that he could make his own future. He couldn't be the person he wanted to be. He couldn't live by his own truth because the world had cornered him. The world had trapped him. The world had put him in a place where he couldn't get out. He had nothing to lose anymore. He was in a point or a position where there was nothing he could do anymore. He could have played all his cards. He had uh, used all his uh, moves. He had uh, played all his tricks, but it hadn't gotten him anywhere. Yeah, that was um, almost the end of the movie. A question for you all is how much of that ending was really happening and how much of it was just a fantasy? Thanks for watching this video and let me know of course in the comments how wrong I was and what type you thought the Joker was.